Talk about mistletoe a little bit. I, I think a lot of people think of that as only something that comes around December, but uh, how is that used and what, what can that do? So mistletoe is very exciting. I mean, all of our mistletoe comes from Germany. There's only a couple sources in Germany that um, import it over here. Uh, mistletoe can be given intravenously. It can be given most commonly subcutaneously too. It's a lot cheaper, easier for the patient to do at home subcutaneously. And it's usually given in a every other day or every second day kind of schedule. So it helps to improve their quality of life. Uh, so a lot of our patients, they feel better mentally overall from it. Okay, uh, It helps to stimulate their immune cells. It ha helps to stimulate some apoptosis or programmed cell death. It helps to decrease inflammatory cytokines, which are different cells that you know, cause inflammation in the body. We need inflammation. Obviously, our body you know, creates that for a reason, but if you have a five alarm fire going on all the time, it's not a good thing. So it helps to balance the cytokines in our body, those cell messengers. Mm -hmm. um, helps to stimulate one's appetite. Um, that's the main thing. So again, by itself, it's typically not used as a standalone therapy. I would say all, most of our, if 99% of our cancer patients are on that. So mm -hmm. because for what it does and the cost and the ease of using it, it's a no brainer really. Yeah. It's the standard of care in, in Germany. I mean, most of right. the oncology patients there are on mistletoe without question. So, yeah. but mm -hmm. here it's not.